Hi everyone, welcome back to another video with Minte Papers. Today I'll be using this gorgeous Berrylicious collection. I'm going to be using the combination of 6x6 and 12x12. I'm doing a quick flip through there just to show you how beautiful these papers are. So for today I'll be creating a square card using um, the 6x6 and the 12x12 and I'll also be um, decorating an acetate box for the card to go into. So as always I've got my layers cut here and these are from a 12x12 sheet. They're just so beautiful, the artwork is stunning and I love that little kitten on the um, images really really beautiful to cut out and use and layer up i also wanted to add a heart element to my card so i've die cut out a heart if you don't have a heart die just freehand um cut a heart shape out from um, your chosen paper and you can use it that way to give my project a distressed shabby look i'm just going to be um, distressing the edges of my layers and you can use this um, pair of scissors you can use scissors for this or you can use a distressing tool to get the same effect So I'm using double sided tape for my first few layers only because I want my dimension on the embellishments like the um, images that I've got to the side there um, and I can go up to about an inch in depth because my acetate box is an inch deep so I'll be creating the dimension using foam pads on those layers. I want this section as my focal point of the card so I'm going to put that in the center and to create all my layers I'll be adding some flowers behind it and there's um, a piece that I've cut out with berries so that's all going to create that layered look for me.
As the papers are so stunning in the 6x6 as well, I'll be using one sheet for my insert and I've just added some double sided tape to the top and that's going to create my insert for a message on the inside and it all just ties in really well. As a finishing touch to the actual images, I want to add a tiny bit of glitter. So I've got some extra fine glitter and I'll be using this glue pen just to add some directed glitter in some areas. And then finally for my sentiment, I've pulled out the Beauty in Bloom cardboard stickers. These are so amazing to have. So if you go for any collection of Minte, try to go for the chipboard stickers. They're just amazing to use on any project. I love adding them to my cards. And you can see how the pink beautifully matches with the Berrylicious collection. And it looks really, really stunning. So on to my acetate box, so you can buy pre-made acetate boxes, um, this one is a Tonic Studios one, but you can just get some construction weight acetate and create your own box to match the size of the card that you're working on. So all I'm going to do is create some layers, again these images are from 12 by 12 which are fussy cut, and I'm adding them on with some double sided tape, and then I'm just going to add some extra layers for some dimension. I'm also adding another little cat image to the front. These are just so adorable. Like I said, the artwork is fabulous on Minte papers. And if you're a cat lover, this collection is definitely for you. Again, I'm pulling in my die cut stickers from Beauty in Bloom and I'm going to add a tiny little hello sentiment to the top of the box and it's all going to be just tying in together and the final touch for the box is going to be some glitter which I'm going to add next. So that completes the box and here is the card again. So I'm going to be just putting the card in the box to show you how beautiful it looks together. I love all the layers and it's all safe and sound in its own little box, all coordinated and matches together. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out the links below and check out all the other girls on the um, design team for some fabulous inspiration. They're all very, very talented. So from me for today, thank you for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye! Thank you.